Sir. If the leaves get smaller and thicker, we'll really be in business. I don't think I properly thanked you for the rescue back there. So, thank you. Helping out the colony was good enough for me. Drac threw his lot in with the right person, then. What are you working on in here? Mostly developing hardier strains of Milky Way plants, so they can survive here. Mixed results so far. Fruit-bearing plants seem to do the worst, unfortunately. At least with a vault online, my job is a little easier. So, you and Kesh. Yeah, we actually knew each other before we came to Helios. But it wasn't until we worked together on the Nexus that we really got close. She's... I really care about her, Ryder. Drac doesn't hate me, does he? I'm right here. And no, I don't. Actually, I have a favor to ask you, Ryder. What kind of favor? Well, I, uh, developed a certain kind of flowering plant, and I might have named it after Cash. I was thinking, the next time you're on the Nexus, maybe you could give it to her from me? <sighs> Seriously? You're adorable, Vorn. Hand it over. And tell her this flower couldn't grow on Tachanka but has a new life here, just like us. See you around, Vorn. Come back soon. Pathfinder, thanks for rescuing Vorn. If anything had happened to him, I don't know how I'd live with myself. Just be careful, Hark. Yeah, learned my lesson. Know anything about those crazy plants out on the dunes? The red ones? Well, there used to be a lot more of them. What do you mean? You see all those red banners outside? With the red paint on the walls? Yeah? The crushed leaves make a perfect dye. Other than that, not much use. Pretty to look at, though. How's research going? Slowly. We're fine on Elodin, but plants aren't. They need a better defense against the elements. I want to experiment by crossing vegetation with the native animal life on Elodin. From what I've seen of the wildlife, those will be some exciting plants. Now I just need to convince Vorn. He thinks it's too dangerous. I guess there's a chance of breeding carnivorous plants like the ones back home, but it's worth the risk. Be careful, Hark. I know. I will. Three days. Bet I could go another two. What were you thinking? It was his choice. No, his life isn't the only one affected. Arkel wants to be a heavy for some Kandara slime ball, he can. I wasn't gonna stop him. He'll be treated like an expendable attack dog, and he'll die. And his death will be on your hands. Or he's using them to make a bunch of credits so we can live easier. He's a Krogan. You guys don't go down that easy. You're cracking jokes? I should beat you into the dust, Nexus scum. Hey, watch it. You should go. I'll handle this. But... But she asked me. You asked me. Sheesh. Damn 
exile scraps won't hold together for more than a week. And look, those mushrooms are back. Still not selling you, Wrinkle. Nice try, though. That's all for now. Back to it. Varka, listen to yourself. I know what I saw. Did that worm think I wouldn't notice? It's my squad, not Gren's, and I'll be damned if I let them take orders from him. What do you want me to do? Handle it, Cortic, or I will. Half the time, I feel like I'm the only one holding this colony together. Trouble? Varka and Gren fought together back home, side by side, but always in competition. Made them stronger. Now they have no enemies to fight, so they're fighting each other. I can see the tension building. Colonists taking sides. This is how clan wars start. A divided colony will never survive out here. Which is why we need to act fast. The best way to stop this feud is to perform a rite of union. Which is? Shove them into a ring with a beast. Make them fight as a team. Defeating a common foe creates a powerful bond. Krogan, don't take that lightly. Help me perform the rite, and we can hold this colony together. How am I supposed to help with the rite? For one, they need something to fight. I hope you don't mean me. <laughs> no. But I do need you to help me drive a beast into the arena. Shamans make a special lure for this. Should help subdue it. You really think Varka and Gren could cause a war? Big problems can start out small. Not taking any chances. I'll do whatever I can to help. Good. Set this lure out in the wild to attract a fiend. The beast might be feisty at first, so stay on your toes. I'll keep Varka and Gren from each other's throats till you get back. Good luck. Dr. O'Kear's important work can't be lost. Uh, hello. I, I noticed you were listening. Uh, is it because you're a fan of the Krogan genius, Dr. O'Kear? I'm frantic because a terminal with all his research was accidentally sold to a junker. Um, no. Maybe. What was on it? His work regarding Krogan physiology and the genophage was advanced. I was his protege. Or, I was acquainted with his protege. <sighs> anyway, it's encrypted. But it would be bad if it fell into the wrong hands. I can give you a nav point and the name of the scavenger I accidentally sold it to. You talk about Dr. O'Kear like I should know who that is. Dr. O'Kear was on the leading edge of Krogan genetics, and possibly curing the genophage. And not using the slow genetic mutation approach the Initiative has invested in. I have, I had, a collection of his research. I hope to cure the genophage in the colony. 
Send me the nav point and the terminal identification. Done. I hope it's still on the planet. The Junker was aggressive. Pathfinder, when you travel, do you meet many Angara? Sometimes. Have you met one named Lietta? I don't think so. Why? She was a salvager, made runs to Elodin all the time. When she landed, she would always stop here first. We climbed the dunes together, took in the view, talked for hours. Lietta had a hard time in this heat, so I said I'd make her a cryo bracelet. I bet she appreciated that. I never got the chance to give it to her. One day, she just stopped coming. I don't know where she is, if I'll ever see her again. Tell me more about Lietta. She's adventurous, optimistic. Her jokes could make a Krogan blush. In a place like this, she stood out. I think she'd stand out anywhere. You think something happened to her? She could have taken a new job. Maybe she was sick of Elodin. But if there's even a chance she ran into trouble, I can't stand not knowing. I could track her down for you. Make sure she's okay. There's a salvage runner at the pyramid. She might know something. I would like that. If you find her, will you give her the cryo bracelet? Tell her she can use it to visit me again. Thank you, Pathfinder. What are you doing up here? Looking. Back home, we didn't have time to just stop and look. Is life that different here? It was all about survival. Here, we don't have to fight so hard. Of course, the older ones still think they have to fight. Maybe it's just in their blood. They'll come around. Sounds like Helios was an easy choice for you. New galaxy, new life. Not interested in being a merc like my father, or battling it out on Tachanka. I almost didn't want to be packed into cryo for the journey. Wanted to see the whole thing. Would have been pretty lonely. Never been bothered by loneliness. The views would have been worth it. You seem... different from the other Krogan. <laughs> My father called me a Salarian in a Krogan body. Supposed to be an insult. Joke's on him, though. I like Salarians. I should get going. I'll need more of those pressure sensors you found. You're the one who got the vault running, right? I have to say, when I heard about this place, I didn't think it would be viable. But now that I've seen what the vault's already done, I'm daring to hope. A few more years here and you'll think of Elodin as home. I believe it. Sounds like the vault's made a big difference so far. That's an understatement. Since you activated the vault, I've observed the beginnings of cloud formations. Some of them are even nimbus clouds, rain-bearing. Months from now, we could see real rainfall. 
Rainy weather on Elodin. Can't even picture it. I can. And it's beautiful. What are you studying here? The evolving climate of Elodin and the possibility of water. There are already underground pockets. Nasty brackish stuff, but it can be purified. My job is to see if it can someday reach the surface. Can you imagine? Rivers, maybe even lakes, on Elodin. That would be huge. Clouds, and soil that can hold water. That's all we need. Let's hope the vault provides. I should get going. Careful out there. tried looking for your dad. I tried. I asked around. Loudly. Dumb, huh? You were a kid. Sure way to make someone vanish is to let him know someone else is looking. Either dad or whoever it was that made him disappear. You hate him for it. Nah. I tell myself he'd come back if he could have. I'll never get the truth, so I'll take the lie that makes everything easier. <laughs> Andromeda plant sample detected nearby.
trigger? Yes, though my memory array remains locked. Additional triggers are required. so frustrated. I try to be firm. She pushes back. I lay down the law. She pushes some more. See, that's your problem. Kids need boundaries, sure, but they also want to know you're not the enemy. Our dad would not have agreed with you. Your dad sounds like a piece of work. Special ops, right? Yeah, something like that. He never went into details. Disappeared. Yeah. I know the type. Kesha's grandmother. You're picking an old scar there, Vetra. Rather not pry it open. I'm sorry. It's just you're always telling war stories, and I thought... What makes you think that's a war story? Reach the nav point provided by Doc. Get ready to fight! Fiend! This is the active terminal. Initiating download. The party just got bigger.
unreasonably large. Also, this terminal holds 15 exabytes of data, and I have no way to gauge what is important. Damn! Should've thought of that. Looks like outlaws. Download complete. We may need now. Easy for you to say. Can you tell what's in all that data? Better have been worth almost getting killed. Much is encrypted. However, a few phrases stand out. Broken super soldier, pure Kroken, and tank bread. Uh, interesting. Send me a report of what you can decipher. haven't exactly treated Krogan very well. You aren't like most Turians, Petra. You know what it's like to hurt a little. I haven't taken half the shots you have. Still have all my limbs. Give it time. Remnant site has defenses in place, Pathfinder. shoulder to lean on, I can, you know, ask around. Got a box of spares somewhere? You know it.
settlement. I should have known. You let one in, and they take over. Dr. O'Kear's important. Thank you for bringing me the data. Now I can continue the work of Dr. O'Kear. The Krogan will be great again. Okay, let me know how that goes. Pathfinder, you're back. I set the lure. We should be in business. Good. I already filled Barca in. I don't like it, but I won't back down from a challenge. Gren's another story. He refuses to fight with Varka. I'll talk to Gren. He'll come around. Ha! <laughs> Good luck. Coward's afraid my fighting will make him look bad. I don't think he'll listen to an outsider, but it's worth a shot. It's Gren, isn't it? I'm the Pathfinder. There's a right of union waiting for you. I told Kordik, and now I'm telling you. I won't do it. Varka already agreed to the right. Don't care. I'm not fighting with that arrogant sack of rocks. Help me out here, Drac. So you're ganging up on me, too? Any chance you'll just give up and leave me alone? I wouldn't be here if it wasn't important. Yeah, yeah. Fine. If it gets everyone off my back, I'll perform the right. But I don't trust Varka to fight fair. The second that fiend is dead, she'll gun for me. I need a third party to keep her in check. Someone neutral. Like a Pathfinder. Me? That's right. I don't fight unless you do. What about my squad? No squad. Just you, me, and Farka. Guess I don't have much of a choice. Pathfinder. Turns out that fiend you lured was female. Brought two males with her. You gotta be kidding. <laughs> now this is a fight.
on, Varka. Couple of those bites should have killed you. Yeah, well. You're both strong, but together you're unstoppable. You're pretty impressive yourself, Pathfinder. Warlord Rider does have a nice ring to it. Ha <laughs> ha! Spoken like a Krogan. you gave me. It shows. Were you really stuck in a crate? Can we not talk about that? Pathfinder was in that right of union. Three fiends? Maybe she's more Krogan than I thought. Jarl's been asking to talk to you. You have new email at your terminal, Pathfinder. Odds as talks break down over a unified curriculum for initiative kids. The Asari say they'll wait it out until demands are met. This is HNS.
Drac will want to see this. Thank you for the Kadara nails. They didn't phase Kesh, but she liked the taste. I'm worried about this place if the cat find you. Send me the scent of the station. It's all we can do here. So just keep the Pathfinder safe and the cat busy. And be careful out there. I only have one for you. We've got everything we need on Spender. I've been waiting for this moment for nearly a year. Ready? Let's go confront Spender. Be nice to bring his head back to Morda on a pike, you know, as a gift. He's Nexus personnel. Addison and Kandros will decide what to do with him. Spoil sport. I didn't have a choice. Aron said they'd kill me. You helped the mutineers, Spender. That was a choice right there. All you had to do was ask for help. Instead, you put everyone else at risk to save yourself. People died because of you, Spender. They said no one would get hurt. I didn't hurt anyone. It's not my fault. You're done now, buddy, and with any luck, they'll give you to me. Everything the Pathfinder's saying is true. Here's the proof. A scrambler packed with logs and credit transfers to exiles. This has been going on since the mutiny. He's been altering files, stealing supplies, communicating with them. We have a confession from Arone, one of the exiles. Arone, on the record this time. We've been working with Spender since the mutiny. He armed us, and now he keeps us supplied. As long as we keep heat on the Krogan. I don't know why he hates them. But he really hates them. I can't even begin to fathom the damage he's responsible for. Like your hands are clean, Kandros? We all wanted the Krogan gone. I just made it easier. The Exiles think I work for them, just like you think I work for you. That's what real politics looks like. Right under our noses. God damn it, Spender! The Krogan left. Spender played both sides just to get a promotion. You couldn't have seen that coming. No. No, I was given ample reasons to suspect something. I just chose not to. You brought it to me, Pathfinder. I should have acted then, but Tan wouldn't shut up about the Krogan. You're getting a chance to fix this now. Let's start with taking our side when my clan tries to negotiate a better deal with Tan. You need us, and frankly, we need you. You're right. I'll back you up. We'll do it right this time. So, what about him? Kick him off the station. Let his friends out there deal with him. What? No, you can't do that. They'll kill me. Your pirate friends are the least of your worries. Thanks, Ryder. You have no idea how glad I am this business is settled. Vorn wanted me to give you this. A uh, plant? A flower. He says it can grow into Chunka, but it has a new life here. I think he was trying to be romantic. <sighs> Sentimental fool. Spending his time growing flowers. It's a waste of time. Has no benefit to Krogan's survival. He was trying to be sweet. Cut him some slack. You're as bad as he is. Did he... say how to take care of it? Just give it love. Nothing more for now. Try not to die out there. Maintenance crews. I hear Spender's been exiled. Well done. And good riddance. Glad I could help. Nothing more for now. See you later. Yes, Pathfinder? Has there been any immediate reaction to exposing Spender? Of course. The damage he did. That'll scar us for a long time. 
There's also the crow I've had to eat. Can't say it wasn't deserved. We're all better off without him. Brecker might disagree. His job now includes everything Spender did. Thanks ever so much. Director Addison. Goodbye, Pathfinder. Jaws been asking to talk to you. You have AVP outstanding, Pathfinder. Robertson Gadara. Do I even want to know? Hey? Oh, this?
Some idiot who got talked into a headbutting contest with me by his buddies. Some buddies? Hey! You! Not in my bar. I know you. Nexus. Your people hurt my friends. Now, we're gonna hurt you. Looks like someone wants a fight. You up for it, Ryder? You know I am. You start this, I'm gonna finish it. Yeah? You and what army? I don't need an army. I've got a Krogan. <clears throat> Just what do you think you're doing? Balls on my quads. I'm getting too old for this shit. Ah, hey, Ryder. Do me a favor. Don't tell Cash about this. I got you covered. That you do. I just don't want her to worry. Jaws has been asking to talk to you. Pathfinder, you have new email. You have AVP outstanding, Pathfinder. Move your arm again? Readings won't change, Doc. Your prosthetics are sinking properly. Your neuropathy-induced pain levels are... consistent. Hey, I'm used to it. It's okay. No, it's not okay. You keep fighting smart, you hear me? 
You don't have much left in terms of organ redundancies. <clears throat> nah, it's fine. I don't mind. Everything okay? This looks like... a lot. It is a lot. Just nothing he didn't already know about. What do you mean? He's fine, just... old. And missing too many parts. And too stubborn for his own good. You love me just the way I am, Doc. Hmm... Don't get off that table until the scan is done. Can I... ask what happened? Arm, side, hip, part of my leg. Strain balancing threading across my spine. It's all prosthetics and implants. That's... a lot. Made it through the Krogan rebellions. Watched my culture disintegrate. Survived centuries as a merc, and all sorts of pirate shenanigans. A thousand years of combat experience, all it took was one idiot with a pack of frag grenades. It must have been hard. Yeah, it got... pretty bad. I hit some dark moments. Implant rejection after implant rejection. Prosthetics not sinking properly. Everything hurt. A lot. All the time. No purpose to anything. How did you deal with it? I didn't. I fell right into that pit. Almost. But then some shaman shows up. Drops the tiniest little baby girl in my lap. This one's dying, he said. Not worth the trouble, he says. Useless is what he meant. He wasn't just talking about the baby. Yeah, I was useless too, but... Wasn't just about me anymore, so I got help. Learned how to take care of myself, take care of her, and she took care of me. He found a way to live again. We sure did. Wasn't easy on either of us. I'm old, stuck in my ways, and Cash... Cash has wanted to change everything since she could talk. Raising Cash taught me an important lesson. And you're going to tell me all about it, aren't you? Damn right I am. Parents aren't meant to be a goal, or a finish line. We're the starting line. Where you go from there, it's all you. Remember that. Yes? I saw another memory that Dad locked away. The day my mom died. I'm sorry, Ryder. We each have our reasons for coming here. Mom was his. Her death fueled him. Grief can be a powerful motivator. If you can't run from it, use it. Guess that's what he did. How do you think the crew is holding up? I'm happy to share what I can without violating patient confidentiality. Anyone in particular? I sort them in their files and my brain by species. Is Drac good? He seemed conflicted since Elodin. Drac likes to think of himself as a fossil. Something from the past to look at and learn from. But you've shown him he has a lot left to live for. Thanks, Ryder. Thanks for the insight. I'll let you get back to it. I'll be here if you need me.
Just talk to Kesh. Looks like some of the clan are back at the Nexus. Hired on as mercs instead of part of the initiative, but still. Good call you made. Letting her keep the drive core. New dawn for the Krogan, huh? Never thought I'd see the day. Sovereign Krogan as equal allies. My mother would have approved. Are you happy now that Spender's out of the picture? Damn right I am. Good riddance, too. Someone somewhere will take care of him. And you won't have anything to do with it, huh? Hold a grudge. Me? I would never. We can talk more later. Sure.